an emotional tribute to a fallen hero. The body of Deputy Darren Almendarez was transported to the funeral home where family and friends will say their final farewells later this week. This as two of the three men charged in his death appeared in court for the very first time today. Deputy Almendarez was killed Thursday, shot in the parking lot of a North Harris County grocery store by men. Investigators say were trying to steal the catalytic converter from his truck. All three of those suspects are charged with capital murder and could face the death penalty if convicted. KPRC 2's Andy Sirota has the very latest in the case from Harris County Courthouse downtown. Andy. Lauren, good evening. The president of the Harris County Deputies Organization not mincing words tonight saying it is time to hold public officials accountable because the system, he says, is failing members of law enforcement who've dedicated their lives to protecting and serving. Not long after a procession for fallen Harris County Sheriff's Deputy Darren Almendaris ended this morning, one of his three accused killers, all facing capital murder charges, went before a judge. No bond for 23-year-old Joshua Stewart, who will stay behind bars in the Harris County Jail until his next hearing on May 10th. Deputy Almendarez was shot and killed Thursday night when he and his wife walked out of a grocery store and found three men trying to steal the catalytic converter from his truck. He's a hero. He's a hero. He probably saved his wife's life that night. If Stewart, 19-year-old Frederius Clark, and 17-year-old Frederick Tardy are convicted, they could face the death penalty. Obviously, it's a new case. We have to look at all the evidence. Uh, what the evidence tells us is how we will go with the indictment. But at this time, we are planning to pursue the death penalty. The purpose of today's hearing for a judge to determine whether prosecutors can prove they have enough evidence that a jury could convict the accused and sentence them to death. I believe all three of them deserve the death penalty. The president of the Harris County Deputies Organization was among the large group of law enforcement officers who stood outside the courtroom during today's hearing as a show of support. Harris County is the murder capital of Texas, and I think once the citizens realize that, they will start to understand we need to start holding these public officials accountable because they've been pretty worthless for public safety. For Darius Clark and Frederick Tardy are both expected to be in court tomorrow, along with their court-appointed attorneys. Live downtown tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News. Andy.